to your right, to your right. There have been 18 pickets injured, some of them by stones thrown from the back, of course. Uh, others who have been trampled as they've fallen down. Scargill's presence is always provocative. He knows that. Everybody knows that. All I know is that these bastards rushed in and this guy you know, back at head with the bloody shield and knocked it ground out. Two pushes, you push us back. Yeah. That's all we want to do. All we are doing is want to fight for our jobs. Nothing else. Also, Frank. Frank.
Horses, Frank. To your right, to your right.
need to see what they're doing.
What do you think of this morning's effort? Well, I think this has the potential for being about the worst day of the lot. Uh, certainly there are about five to five and a half thousand people here. They have come from Scotland, Wales, the northeast of England. They were coming all through the night in coaches. We were expecting a large number. And of course, we have a large number of police officers here. As you can see, they have tried repeatedly to get through our lines to get at these people who are working lawfully and they haven't managed it. The latest count I've got is that seven police officers have been injured. Uh, none of them seriously, so far as I know. There have been 18 pickets injured, some of them by stones thrown from the back, of course, which have hit them. Uh, others who have been trampled as they've fallen down. Uh, so at the moment, I would say no, we are containing the situation as we have done ever since we started. I see no reason to go beyond what we are doing. Uh, you will notice that I've used the horses on a couple of occasions this morning, once to retrieve a, a plastic shield that was burning, and I thought that they might throw that at my officers, so I used the officers to retrieve that. And I have used officers with their truncheons drawn. What do you think about Mr. Scargill's presence this morning? Scargill's presence is always provocative. He knows that, everybody knows that. When he arrives, uh, people get excited. I'd rather he kept away. That's great. Be everywhere, cop. You're right, Terry. Well, right. We just stood there doing nothing. Mr. Scargill, can you tell me exactly what happened just now? All I know is that these bastards rushed in and this guy hit me up back at head with a bloody shield and knocked me to the ground out. He's cut my bloody arm, he's hit me up. When we picked him up, he was semi conscious. This big fella here picked him up and I went to his assistant. See what they call him now? Come on, come on, when is he coming? Right. Super, I think. And I crack it back ahead with a shield. Is it not here? Yeah. Shoved him. And he's, he's, he's knocked my arm. But he's knocked my arm. I don't know if I said, well, 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 Arthur! Arthur! 
Watch this car! Watch this car! 
Watch this car. Watch this car, get ready to move. Set on fire, car's been set on fire and tried to roll towards us, but we can't bring fire to get them. We can't unless they want to bring the crowd for it. People are throwing the bricks. We deplore them. We want you arrested, because they're no minors. They're only agitators. Young communists in the lot. We deplore them, OK? We don't want to hate. We don't want to throw bricks. We don't hurt policemen. Don't want to hurt policemen. We've got respect for policemen. I okay. mean, you're doing a hard job. Right. Right, fair enough. He'll push you. You push us back. Yeah. That's all we want to do. All we are doing is want to fight for our jobs. Nothing else.
Come, I hope you know, because it wasn't a mark in that man when he went away and he went away quietly. Come back! Come back. Yeah. 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 Yeah.